Hello everyone, in the last video we've explained what invest is and how it is relevant to our course. In this video, we'll explain why invest is useful and how invest models could help answer key questions that arise from real-world problems. When making decisions about natural resource management, numerous amount of data need to be collected and undergo a set of comprehensive analysis. INVEST is a useful tool that provides technical models to digest such information so that decision makers can have a better understanding of the potential outcomes. For instance, with climate change causing sea level rise globally, it's important for an island city like Singapore to plan ahead so that we can keep our shores and our people safe. So, what kinds of coastal management and environmental policies will yield the best results for flood management, shoreline protection, as well as sustainable fisheries? Such decisions need to be made carefully using a systematic approach, with the aid of scientific tools. This is where invest models can come in. In CDE 2503, we will be using the coastal vulnerability model and urban flood risk mitigation model to explore the answers. Another example would be carbon sequestration. As a key pillar under the Singapore Green Plan 2030, Singapore's One Million Trees movement aims to restore nature back into the city through the planting of a million more trees across Singapore. We need to know how and where to plant trees to obtain the best returns for carbon sequestration and utilize the greenery's cooling potential to the best extent. Using the invest models, such as the carbon storage and sequestration model and the urban cooling model, such circumstances can be modelled and assessed. In short, by answering these motivating questions, INVEST can help government agencies to make decisions for urban planning and policy development. It provides insights for conservation organisations to better align their missions to protect biodiversity. It can also be used by corporations to decide how and where to invest in natural capital. So, how does INVEST work? INVEST models can use collected data to quantitatively evaluate the ecological benefits to people. For example, flood risk reduction, coastal protection, carbon captured, temperature reduced, etc. These benefits that people obtain from ecosystems are known as ecosystem services. INVEST is modular in the sense that you do not have to model all the ecosystem services listed, but rather can select only those of interest. The inputs are usually in the form of GIS, map data and information tables. To view the output, a mapping software is required. You need to download QGIS or ArcGIS on your device to see your results. Running INVEST effectively does not require knowledge of Python, but it requires some basic skills in GIS software. In CDE 2503, we will be focusing on four models as shown here. The flood risk mitigation model can estimate how much stormwater runoff can be reduced and the potential savings. The urban cooling model can be used to estimate ambient temperature reduction by greenery. The coastal vulnerability model can be used to explore the role of sea level rise and the carbon sequestration model can tell us how much carbon is currently stored in a defined region and how much carbon can be captured over a defined period of time. Let's take a look at the flood risk mitigation model first. The first step of the flood risk mitigation model is to look at the supply. In this case, supply refers to the ecosystem service, which is the provision of filtration and runoff retention. The second component of the model is the reduction of flood water volume in flood prone areas. Finally, value represents the avoided flood damage which can be calculated optionally. So these are the corresponding outputs from the invest flood risk mitigation model. Supply can be illustrated as the distribution of runoff retention. The red spots indicate that there is higher runoff retention. Service refers to the flood reduction. In this case, the areas with higher runoff retention capacity in the first graph clearly have a lower flood water volume. Consequently, depending on the type of buildings, flood reduction can bring different levels of economic benefits to the area of interest. The second one is the urban cooling model. 
Urban heat mitigation is a priority for many cities that have undergone heat waves in recent years. Vegetation can help reduce the urban heat island (UHI) effect by providing shade, modifying thermal properties of the urban fabric, and increasing cooling through evapotranspiration. The outputs from the urban cooling model illustrate that in areas where greater cooling capacity exists, the temperature of that area will be lower, and as a result, the energy savings are likely to be higher. The third one is the coastal vulnerability model. Faced with an intensification of human activities and a changing climate, coastal communities need to better understand how modifications of the biological and physical environments can affect their exposure to storm-induced erosion and flooding. For example, direct and indirect removal of natural mangrove habitats for coastal development. In this model, we have proposed four different scenarios. Based on whether the area has a mangrove habitat and whether there is sea level rise, the maps suggest that mangrove habitats can effectively increase coastal resilience, either with or without sea level rise. This information can help coastal managers, planners, landowners, and other stakeholders to identify regions of greater risk to coastal hazards, which can in turn better inform development strategies and permitting. Lastly, through the Invest Carbon Storage and Sequestration model, maps of land use along with stocks in four carbon pools were used as the input to estimate the amount of carbon currently stored and the amount of carbon sequestered over time. Here, we set the current and future land use and land cover year to be 2020 and 2050, respectively. The price of carbon, its annual rate of change and discount rate were also used to estimate the value of this ecosystem service to society. Apart from the four models shared, INVEST has many other useful models and it has been applied in over 60 countries by the NETCAP project team. We'll be providing more details for model applications in other resources. In the next videos, we'll show you how to use the INVEST models. Thank you.